Hi everyone, I'm GB Colleen and in this video we're gonna open the brand new Zuru Mini Brand Snackles or Snackless. I'm honestly not sure, I haven't seen a commercial about this, I haven't seen anyone open these, so the pronunciation I'm gonna use is gonna be Snackless because it sounds more funny. Anyway, I found these at Target and as soon as I saw that Mini Brand's logo, I knew I had to get a few of these and try them out and I'm pretty sure a lot of you out there wanted me to open some of these and give them a proper review, not like I did in the shorts, so so let's jump into it. Okay, first thing we notice, the zipper actually works great, unless this is just, you know, a beginner's luck or something. The second thing you might have noticed is that these are a lot bigger than your usual mini brands. Even this one, the Series 5, is technically a bigger ball. And as you can see, right here, I have a regular mini brands ball. I mean, I don't know if you can call it regular anymore because now they started, you know, having these ones that are Series 5. So just to, you know, have a point of reference, these used to be the good old mini brands. These are what they're using nowadays. And then this is the ball they use for the snackless or snackles. So basically it seems like with every year and every new release, the balls are getting bigger and bigger. It's gonna be interesting to see how they're gonna look five years from now. All right, so inside you get this um, cute little plushie and then you get a snack pack and we're gonna get to this in a little bit. Now these plushies are actually, you know, a little bit compressed and as they say on the ball, I double in size. I don't think they double in size, but they're gonna get a little bit bigger than this. This is the plushie that I opened in a short that was posted a few days ago. And then this is the one we got. There isn't that much of a difference in size. I don't know, honestly, I don't think they will double in size, but nonetheless, we got a very cute bear here that's holding a bar of Hershey's milk chocolate. The chocolate bar is entirely made out of plastic and there are details on the other side as well, which is good. Okay, that doesn't look good anymore, but oh well. I had to put it down because I wanted to open the snack pack and show you guys what's inside. So as I mentioned in the short, I thought that the snack pack, there's actually some type of, I don't know, gum or candy or, you know, things like that, but there's no snacks. In fact, there's stickers of snacks. You get a Hershey's sticker. It seems like whatever the plushie is holding, you know, that's the sticker you get. Then you get a Zuru snackless sticker. Then we got our good old collector's guide. So these are all the plushies in the collection. We got Benji with the ramen. We got Lottie with the Chupa Chups. Danny with the Pringles. Uh, Felix with the Tabasco sauce, Susie with the Push Pop, Daisy with the Mike and Ike, and then on this other side we got Albi with the Reese's, Hugh with Mentos, Brittany with Cinnabon, it's Brittany, well I can't say that on YouTube, uh, we got Terry with the Hershey's, and then Richard with the Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops, I meant, not Fruit Loops. So in total, you have 11 plushies to collect. And last but not least, you get this Zuru Snackless Stories, and it's a cardboard, which on the other side, it has a little story about, um, you know, the plush you just got. So he's eating the chocolate, and he gets sad because he's gaining weight from the chocolate, and he gets an idea. He grabs six squares from the chocolate and <laughs> puts them on his belly to look like a six pack. That's cute. So I picked up the collector's guide real quick and uh, this is Lottie. Lottie, I'm having a hard time pronouncing that name. Hope I'm pronouncing it correctly though. Lolly is holding a Chupa Chups lollipop. I wish this was a little bit longer though. I'm trying to fluff it up a little bit. That's another thing I didn't mention about the other plushie. They're actually really nice and soft. I think they did a really good job with the color combination. You got turquoise and with this, you know, bright pink. Yeah, the space is gonna be an issue here. Once again, collector's guide. I was wondering, I'm like, did we not get any stickers with this? All right, so where was I? Collector's guide, sticker number one, sticker number two, and then we have our story card. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I am so glad we got the chicken or the chick because out of all of them, this is the one that I wanted the most because it has the Pringles. So this is a chicken, a baby chicken, I guess, that's holding a can of Pringles. Now let me show you something really cool. 
All right, so I couldn't find one out of the two pieces that I wanted to show you. And that's because, um, remember I was telling you guys I'm in the process of moving? Well, I'm still in the process of moving. It's just that this video actually is the first video I'm recording in the new space. And as you can expect, a lot of the things are still in boxes, but I was still able to find the mini, mini one, you know, from series five. So this is the tiniest can of Pringles. And then there's one between this and this one, but still not that I want to take anything away from the big one but look how perfect the small one is considering its size if you look at it from this angle they really messed up the big one either way this video is about the snack list and not about uh, regular mini brands looking at this a little closer i'm wondering if we're actually supposed to remove this from them because the string they used to attach it looks as if you know it's meant to be cut i don't know maybe that's just me at some point i'm definitely gonna remove one of these if i have a different project for them as usual, Pringle sticker, snack list sticker, collector's guide. I'm kind of looking forward to opening more just for these stories. Oh, okay, I get it now. It took me a little. <laughs> it took me a second to catch on. Okay, well, I guess um, not all zippers are the same. Okay, so this is one thing that actually surprises me. Many brands is notorious for you know, having a lot of duplicates and I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Okay, this one stinks a little. It's not bad or anything. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like a very, um, it feels humid. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you that the chicken was called Danny and this little guy is Benji. Benji with the Maruchan ramen noodle chicken flavor soup. He has a, a damp smell. That's that's what I was looking for, which is not that great. But what are you going to do? I'm surprised there are no duplicates. Well, yet. And it might be a miniverse type of situation because I got a full untouched case of these. A full case comes with eight balls and even though there are 11 to collect, maybe all of those eight in the case are just unique. Again, this packet is plastic. It's more like those Sugar Buzz miniatures, but a little bit better and bigger, obviously. We got the March on sticker, the Snackless sticker, collector's guide, and then the good old story. Let's see what is Danny up to. Oh, Benji. Danny's the chicken, right? So he's not interested in the ball. He's not interested in the frisbee, but he is super interested in the Marchan ramen noodle soup. Chicken flavor, nonetheless. Yeah, can't blame him. I love those things too. Okay, the zippers are getting progressively worse. All right, I'm super curious to see if we're gonna get a unique one or a duplicate. It is a unique one. So over here, we got Brittany. Give Brittany a little bit of a massage that, you know. Oh, it looks weird now. Every time I hear the name Brittany, I just want to say that phrase, you know, it's Brittany, the other word that starts with the B. So Brittany is holding a, um, a Cinnabon, which was introduced in the Foodie Edition Series 2. It's a really nice and soft plushy. Yeah, not bad. Let's see what Brittany's story is. Yeah, they're, you know, cute. By the way, this is not the last one we're opening. We have one more over here to the side. It's just that I wanted to you know, be able to fit all these in the frame. What do you guys think? Duplicate or no duplicate? Interesting. Look at it. It's kind of hiding under there. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> if you squish it like this, look. Oh, that's like incredibly soft. I see what you're doing here, many brands. The Reese's, you know, this thing is orange. I don't even know what it is. Is it a baby lion? What I do know is that its name is Albi, but other than that, I'm really not sure what it's supposed to be. Am I blanking here? Because everything else is kind of like pretty self-explanatory, right? Is it a bird? I truly don't know, but uh, whatever it is, it's holding a uh, Reese's. Again, it's plastic and it looks like the sugar bus stuff but you know, higher quality. We lost a sticker, but we already know the deal. Uh, collector's guide and the story. Yeah, I think it is a bird, see? It's kind of flying. Oh wait, it's a fish. Is it a fish? Yeah, cause it's, it's underwater, right? That kind of looks like it's underwater. The fish took the Reese's and left all the other treasure because it's treasure was the Reese's. I feel the same about chocolate, but maybe maybe not that intense, you know? Because in my grown up mind, I can use all that treasure to buy a lot more of those. <laughs> all right, and here's the last one. Like I said, so far, no duplicates, which is great. If this is not a duplicate, then either I'm really lucky or each case comes with, you know, 
one of each. Even though there's 11 in total to collect. Um, yeah. It is not a duplicate. This here is Richard. Richard is a unicorn. I'm not sure how this should look, but anyway, we're wasting time. So Richard is a unicorn. I just can't help myself. I just wanted to look. Oh. So yeah, be careful with that. <laughs> Richard is kind of like shedding. <laughs> Fruit Loops, they have all those colors. I'm guessing that's the that's what they're trying to go for there. Kind of don't like this part. This is gonna get really bad at some point. And it's kind of like, you know, pulling off. It's not as good as the other ones. Even though when you look at the collector's guide, you might be thinking that, oh, it looks so good. I want one of those. But anyway, it's holding a giant box of Kellogg's Fruit Loops. And this time it seems like they didn't do the sides. See, it's just bare plastic over there. And then there's a sticker that kind of like runs across the whole thing. Let's see Richard's story. All right, so one day Richard decided to have a bowl of Fruit Loops. For some reason, something didn't go well. Oh, he was about to sneeze, and Fruit Loops came out of his um, out of his unicorn horn, and everyone thought it's a party because they look like confetti. Richard's story is just like the plushie, not that great. <laughs> All right, so this is everything we got. Again, I'm really surprised that there was no duplicates. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, different type of video. And if you did, don't forget to click that thumbs up button before you leave. Subscribe if you're not. And let me know in the comments what you think about these. As usual, you guys stay absolutely golden. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.